is going on guys and welcome to the amazing game of Minecraft. Yes, the amazing game that has brought so much joy to my life. I thought I'd come here and share it with you guys and build some nice builds and have fun playing this amazing game because it is very amazing in game. So let's jump into it. Just wanted to show off my sexy dude as I always like to do with his collared teeth. Checkered t-shirt, yes, he's so sexy. Anyway, I am currently on a server. This server is owned by one of my favorite YouTubers, which is named Dataless822. Yes, he is a, a awesome person and is great at what he does. He build, he plays Minecraft mainly, of course, and builds some amazing builds. Really good with redstone as well, I must say. Not as good as me, but hey, that's what Minecraft is about. you got to play and learn. So that's what we're here. So hi, hi. So this is the spawn point where you spawn in and you start off with pretty much you spawn down there and then you go out there and play. So this is on hard so it's not made for people who are just starting out basically because you're going to die a lot like you get mobs that come up behind you and BAM! You're dead. Three shots from a skeleton and you're gone. It's happened to me plenty of times of course so we'll run down here and give you a little look of what's down here. It's the main thing down here is shops. Yes, amazing shops. You can buy shops in here and sell your lovely goods. They'll be one day later on down the track when I have lots and lots and lots of resources where I can afford to sell them and make some money and buy other goods that I don't have already if I, if I don't have it. So down here you have got a area with spawn point, spawn point is up there, so if you die, you come back all the way back here. So if you're a thousand blocks out that way, you got a way like a long walk to go, and it's not very fun. So I'm not going to go too far from spawn until I get into it a bit. So you got your hey, how's it going? Okay, bye bye. So you got the you nether know, portal down here where you can come down here and use the wonderful nether portal. Yes. So. That's easy for me, if you like live close, you can come down here. You can do your own nether portal, but sometimes with being on a, a server, it sometimes messes up with the whole linkage of it, and sometimes you end up in the middle of nowhere. So what we're going to do is run out here before it gets... Oh, we've got plenty of time. It's only midday. We're going to run out here, and I've already got a spot where I am going to start to build yeah and yes I have played on here a bit before so that's why you can see I've got some iron gear already ready to go so then I don't have to go and get iron I can just jump straight into building which is what I want to do and then have some fun so I've got a spot ready I was out that way a bit more um, not far from where I am decided to build but it's not that far so where it is is in a mountain, which is nice and close, not too far away. Um, we better jump out of here because it's going to be hard getting it out. Just mind me, <coughs> I've got a bit of phlegm stuck in my throat. So we'll jump over here and run across this wall and we'll go to this lovely mountain of mine that I found. So I want to build in a mountain first simply because it's going to be easy. I can save the resources and recycle the resources that I get from building or from you know carving out the mountain and use them for what I want to build in. That is my aim anyway so on this server you get the wonderful people that are on here already that I like because you can interact with them and it's always funner and more enjoyable to have people to play around with. So I am, so like I said I'm not too far away I think I'm just around this corner over there I think so. And the good thing about being on the server is you can have lots of people to help you if you really wish and if they wanted to help you. But that's something else that people... What? I can't remember. That it, it all depends if people want to help you. So, jeez, I can't remember where it is. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It's over this side, yes. So this is the mountain I'm going to embark in and make my big 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 hobbit hole which will eventually be pretty big one day i will go and expand and make a bigger build somewhere else out in the open like a big house like data has made but not necessarily his build because that's his own and i don't like copying i like to make my own so we've got a little bit of a walk to go it shouldn't be far gotta eat some food that's what i do eat some food come on here we go jump up jump jump oh no can't jump there. Oh, I should have just gone and collected some wood. 
I'm completely lost. Would you look at that? Completely lost. We'll just keep going around here and eat some more food. Try not to eat too much so I can go faster at the same time. So it's good that I got some gear ready so then I don't have to do too much and like you know use heaps of you know stone pickaxes because they, they go they go so quick these days. Well, the cool thing in here is to oh, I'm just going around in circles. Just going round in circles. I am going round in circles. God damn it. Ah, oh, better just climb up here and <coughs> go to the top of the mountain. It's probably going to be the best idea. And then I can work my way around there and then find it. So in this server, you have a community XP farm. So it's awesome. So I don't have to find an XP farm and then make it from scratch. I can just go down there, do my grinding and enchant my enchantments once I get some diamonds. Oh, I got some diamonds already from a little bit from doing a little bit of mining. I'm just completely lost. Don't even know where I'm. I don't think it's around here. Maybe it's just down there. Is it just down there? I do not remember. Oh, I can't remember. Bugger. Or maybe we'll just keep walking over this way. Maybe it's close by. I remember it's on my right if I'm walking from this way. Actually, I think I found it. Yeah, I did. Hopefully, I think it's just over there. We'll go and have an explore. The fun of finding places. Please be over there because, you know, that will be a bit disastrous because it's turning to daytime. And I don't want skeletons to come BAM! Shoot me in the bum. It would be very nice. And then I have to run away more. Or, even better, kill them. But I'm not very good with killing mobs. I die too much. I'll we'll jump down here and hopefully it is just around the corner. Yes. So I like this area here because it's away from everyone, I think. And when I get up the top there, I can make a nice veranda and then I get a nice view of down here and over there. So here is where I'll be living for the next while until I build up my resources. And we're going to have to get some wood too, do the tree punching and get some wood so we can start, you know, making all the good stuff like doors and things like that. So I'll just carve this out a bit more. We're going to go in a bit more because I don't want, I want to have enough room for making a door, which the door will eventually go round about here. So let's just go up here and get these trees and that should be enough. Until the daytime comes up again, and then we can go get some more trees. But I'll probably just do that off camera, because that's just boring. These will be enough trees. I know I should be doing it the proper way in tree punching, but hey, I need to make it quick. So, that's why I made a few a few like pickaxes and things for myself. Not a few, I've only got the one. Oh, I put me, got me, got some armor to put on, so... That will do, that will be fine for now. That's all I really need. And what we're going to do is come out one like that. And we've got some cobblestone. So we'll just put that here and make our door. Just so mobs can't come in and we'll make what we need. Make an enchanting, not enchanting table, a crafting table. Place that just down there for the time being. And make a door. That's a bit not what I want. I love 1.8. I think it's awesome how the doors stack in three and the stackables because it was so annoying making a bunch of doors and then that you know you can't stack them. So that is our door. I'm gonna make a pressure plate because they're always easier. Then you don't have to worry about if the doors open if you run in too quick from a mob. It'll automatically shut itself like so. Am I lagging? Let's see. Oh, that's why. Noob. Okay, right there. Done. That's awesome. So they don't have to worry about whether or not. If, like, say, if there's a creeper or something, run away. Quick, quick. That's fail. Run, 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 run. And in, and it's shut. So I don't have to worry about it, as you all know. So we'll put some torches up there. And so this, originally, when I am finished here, is going to be a pressure, like, a piston door. 
because you can do a lot of redstone in here, but you can't do massive, massive builds because there'll be a lot of lag. And then with everyone that's on here, because there's, there's a, see how many people are on here at the moment. There's a fair few, which I really enjoy. So you can't have like a massive build that's going 24-7, you know. So it makes it less laggy on everyone and for yourself, of course. Because as you can see, I had a bit of block lag there and that didn't do it. Didn't mind it. So I'm going to go in a little bit. It's not really going to matter. I can always fill it in again with walls. And we shall. this will be our little hobbit hole that we can start off with. We're going to have to build... We're going to have to make some furnaces and one day make an industrial furnace. But for now, you know, normal furnaces will do. And we're going to make a mine shaft to go down and do some mining because I don't want to go all the way back to where I was, which is over that way. I will show you this one day when I get around to it when I have to go back there and collect my gear. But I'll show you where I was and where if, if it, no one's taken it, then we'll go back there and we'll build my building that I have got in mind but like I said it's going to take a long time for me to get gear together to be able to build it because I was going to build like a, a big mansion kind of thing with brick you know like that you got to get clay and then make smelt it into brick and then you got to put all them together so that as you can see that's a lot a lot and a lot of like what I'm thinking of is a lot of brick that I need. I do I would like to use stain brick, but because it's just easier. But what's a, what's a challenge without a challenge and making it nice and you know hard for myself? So that's that is my plan eventually. So I think that's deep enough. We're gonna make some chests. We'll make two chests just to be able to put some gear in for when we hop in here. <clears throat> so, I've got to imagine the piston door. Piston door will be... I hear mobs. Or is that might just mean walking on the grass. So the piston door... Say if the piston door... No, I wasn't hearing anything. It, it was a mob. So let's say... Let's say the piston door goes right here. That will be plenty of room that way. And then I want to leave, say, three, four, four there many blocks so my aim is to come in this will be like the lobby area so I'll come in like so and make it all out of stone brick because that's going to be the easiest way for now but it's going to be a bit bigger <coughs> so <coughs> once I've done all that I'll go out a fair bit on both sides so let's say that side there as well and then we go out, say, about 10 blocks will probably be enough. And that's a massive room in here where the lobby area will be. And then I will put stairs up on each side that go up another level and then up another level. So pretty much I'm going to be building my section here. So that is what's going on. So just so you know what I am trying, well, what my finished product is going to look like, even though it's not a finished product at all is kind of get an idea of what I want. So we're going to have mo multiple levels with multiple probably lookouts, but maybe just some with glass. Hey, look, we got a mob. Should we try? Let's try. Let's go. Yeah, die. You beep. Yeah, can't spread too much. So there we go. One, one mob down, and we better eat some food. Where's my food right there? And we've got another mob. We've got a zombie. So that's why you don't want to be outside at night, because you're going to get a lot of mobs after you and it's not fun it's definitely not fun especially when you got like a lot of levels on you like I died when I had 35 levels and it sucks so much because you're like oh, I could have just enchanted all my gear then but you can't because you know now you're dead and you got to go find your gear and it just it's not fun at all now I've used up me diamond pick oh, me um not diamond pickaxe me good pickaxe so for now until I get me diamond pickaxes so I don't know how many blocks is this I'm going out. How about I will carve out the rest of this and I will be back to show you what the finished product look like, looks like. Alrighty guys, I'll see you in a bit. I am back and I have finished. Yes, see, look, I, I, haven't, well, I haven't really finished. I just carved it out to what I wanted. So that's my look I'm looking at just for the little lobby area. I have a lot of plans down here. I'll probably make it go up one more or one down. Now I'll probably go up one more. So it's four high, so you don't feel so close, and it feels nice. 
But yes, that's what I'm looking uh, looking at. So what I was just thinking before is, wouldn't it be awesome if you have like quarter blocks if, or half a quarter block? So then you could have all this just like flat, if you know what I'm trying to get at. Like, you know, one a line there that a block fits in there. It would be pretty awesome. Or even round. Wouldn't it be like, like a round one? Imagine that. That would be pretty cool. Like you could have round blocks. I wonder, wonder if they could do that actually. So anyway... Here is where I'm going to put the stairs. So just so you know, because I'm going to end this episode very soon, because I've done what I wanted to do, is stairs are going to go here. So we walk up the stairs, go up, and then, you know, go up to the next level, which will probably be, I'll leave like four gap between each level. So if you understand what I'm getting at, this will be the other stairs. So then in the middle here, it will leave enough room to do something later. Maybe put an industrial furnace in there. Who knows? Maybe put my storage storage system in there. Or even better, I could put my... We might... Actually, let's just do that. For now, we're going to put the mine shaft down here. But what we're going to do is say, let's... To make it even, we want to do... How many blocks is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go six on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seven eight so this down here will be our mine shaft so we'll go down a fair bit and this will be our mine shaft just for now so then i don't have to go too far i can just jump down there and have my mine shaft so that's where the mine shaft is going and then like i said what i could do is later on down the track i'll get a beacon and then make like a like big or a hole in the ground, just down to where I'm mining at. Like, like it would be pretty cool. Make it all nice and neat and tidy and with new, like, the better blocks and everything like that. So, what we'll do as well is we'll quickly make some furnaces. And what we'll do for now is we'll get rid of this. You want to, I'll, When I was digging at this, I went through, like, four stone pickaxes. And I'm going through another one now. It's like, not bad but it's just like so painful because they don't last very long so it's like just a pain in the butt so we'll get rid of this and we'll put our furnaces just in the wall here for now and then i'll put chests just there until i figure out what i want to do because i'm probably going to go up a level and we might even make that our say our storage room where we put all our chests and store all our goods that we get so for now we're going to put it in the middle and we'll make it two in yep two in like so and that's going to be perfect look at that so two in and then we can make it look nice and pretty oh no not that one that was close one, two, three, four! I can count! Woo! <laughs> I'm glad I can count. That would be a pretty big epic fail if I couldn't. But yeah, once I get it nice and pretty, put stone brick around here, then it's going to look much better. So we're going to probably end up taking, yeah, I will take it up one more. And then it will look a bit nicer, a bit taller. Make it a bit harder for myself. And then give me more resources. So that's why I was like... Wanting to do it in a wall, like in a mountain, not a wall, sorry. It makes it easier for me to do this, all this, and then I can just dig it all out. And the resources I get from it, as you can see, not very much at the moment, but I can use all of that to my advantage and, and smelt all the stone or the cobblestone down and use it for the wall. So I'll take this out and then I put cobblestone in there. We'll just say that that's cobblestone. And then cobblestone all the way around the walls, and then on the floor, I've got um, a different ideas. I'm going to use this endosite, I think, no, no, diorite. I'm lagging. Yeah, there we go. So, diorite. So, imagine it's cool with. Um, I use data's texture pack as well, which is awesome, and it kind of looks like big tiles. So that makes it look nice and epic. So that's pretty cool. And then put another brick maybe around the side, but I've got to go to the nether and make that of course so diorite's going on the bottom stone brick on the wall and I don't know what I want to do for the roof maybe something different maybe just because I don't want to have too much stone brick I want to even it out that's why I'm using this for the floor and then that way I can have 
something different for the roof, I don't know, maybe andesite, I don't really like andesite as much, it's a totally different colour altogether, but maybe that might work, who knows, that could work for the roof, who knows, we'll just get one more block so we can make a bunch of them, that, that could work actually, I might just have a look, let's just get these blocks out and put them in the ground, one, one, yeah, that, that might work for the roof. I think that's what's going to happen for the roof. So then it's not so much stain brick and then just this and, and diorite. So we can use the endosite as well because I've got a little bit of endosite there and diorite and endosite. So yeah, that's what I'll do, I think. It all Once we start putting it together, it might come together. We have to just take it and trial and error and see how that goes so anyway that is going to be it for this episode what i will do is maybe just dig out this roof and then i'll come back and we'll do some more fun building so anyway i hope you enjoyed it and would like to see some more because i enjoy doing this i've done a little bit before but i thought i'd try it on the server and and have some fun on the server so that's that's why I'm here. So, anyway, I hope you liked it and you can come back and enjoy some more. So, hit that like button if you really enjoyed it as I did. I'm always going to enjoy it. And I will see you, all you dudes, in the next video. Bye, guys.